Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. Hey, the place to be is the Collector's Gallery in Oak Forest, Illinois. You are in for a good one. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give me a like if you appreciate those efforts of making all these videos for you. Stay to the end. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. T. Okay, Sherry. Hey, thanks for welcoming me back to the Collector's Gallery here Hi, in How are Oak you? Forest. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Just peachy. Yeah? You had a, had a nice vacation? I did. I did. Got some sun. Uh -huh. Spent time with the grandkids on the beach. It was amazing. That's, amazing. that's the main part right there, yeah. that beach time, that family time. Yeah. So, uh, hey, I threw it out into the YouTube community and on Facebook, asked my viewers if they had questions for you, and man, they came up with a bunch of good ones. Okay. So I hope you're ready for this. Um, okay, I'm ready. Uh, so it'll be a fun one. Okay. Got a nice variety. Uh, let's uh, start off with uh, gold versus silver. Uh, what are people buying lately? It's 50-50. Okay. 50-50 is what I'm seeing. So okay. um, I can't say one versus the other. Things have really slowed down the last couple weeks. Uh -huh. um, and I don't know if it's just due to the summer season or the market dropping as drastically as it did. But, yeah. you know, things are coming back up in the market, per se. So, I don't know. I don't know. Right, so last week it was 50-50. Uh -huh. We'll see what this week brings. Is there normally like a summer slump where people are out doing other stuff? Because yeah. yeah. I think less people are watching videos. And right. I've heard yeah. this from other YouTubers as well. Right. I mean, going to the beach, doing their yard work, spending time with the family, being outside, you mm -hmm. know. Oh, yeah. I, I hear you. Okay, so 50-50, bullion or numismatics? Bullion. Bullion, okay. So um, what's the ratio on that, would you put it? 70-30, probably. So, so mostly people coming in uh, buying bullion. Mm -hmm. Martin Harris, uh, one of my uh, guys on YouTube, uh, wants to know, like, what's the most single popular item? They're, they're coming in, they're asking for bullion, what are they asking for? Um... People have stopped asking for Silver Eagles. Everybody yeah. pretty much realizes now how much the premiums are on that. Mm -hmm. And anybody who's watched my videos knows that I'm just not going to handle that stuff because I don't want to saddle somebody with that premium. Mm -hmm. So they stopped asking for that stuff. It's the $5 an ounce over stuff okay. is what people have been buying and a lot of 90%. So, uh -huh. you know, constitutional. So. All right. Well, since you mentioned it, what are you, are you five bucks over on yep, generic? Still five over. And uh, junk, uh, what's that going for today? <laughs> uh, about seven dollars over. Okay. Which is a goofy number, but yeah. Yeah. Seven dollars okay. over. Those premiums are still stiff. Tom Byrne wants to know about uh, Pamp Suisse mm -hmm. bars in the assay. Are those popular at all? And they uh, are, but for whatever the reason, those have a big premium too. Okay. Whenever Whenever the only way I carry those is if they come in over the counter. I don't go out and search for those because it's just a, too big of a premium for so that. So people are so, paying for that little assay yeah, yeah. and the little plastic and paper right. that it's with. That okay. tuna figure that's on there, they like that, but whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, dude named uh, Neophyte wants to know, uh, uh, buy back when silver hits 50. Mm -hmm. And uh, will you just be churning and burning uh, when people are lined up here to sell their silver? Mm -hmm. Most definitely. I don't know what the premiums are going to be at that point. Who knows? Nobody yeah. knows what that's going to be, okay? Yeah. But you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to get a minimum of spot mm -hmm. unless the market gets so inundated. Yeah. Um, like in the early 80s, I think it was, when the market shot up. Yeah, 1980. Okay, with the Hunt uh -huh. Brothers, all of mm -hmm. that. Um, everything got so backed up. Um, we were actually in business, I, I wasn't in the business, but the people who owned this business at that time, okay, mm -hmm. they were Orland Coin and Stamp back then. Uh -huh. They had people lined up selling silver um, and everything. They had a Brinks truck twice a day coming in wow. to the mall where they were at to pick up product mm -hmm. to get shipped back out. And everything was so backed up that you, they couldn't keep up. Mm -hmm. So at, towards the middle to end, they had to start paying back of spots somewhat okay because the refiners were all backed up everything was just backed up there was nothing anybody could do about it and then the market dropped dead done. that's insane so so yeah. some people from back then who held their silver 
you know, might have re or even bought silver at oh, regretted it. 45 bucks or sitting regretted on it. Yeah. 45 dollars most, silver. Yeah, most people say. weren't buying it at that yeah. point in time. Yeah. But there was a lot of people who just held on to it because they kept thinking, oh, oh it's, it's going to get higher. Yeah, I'm going to be greedy. And yeah. How'd that work out for you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. <laughs> T-Bones Tech wants to know about 2022 American Silver Eagles, and you kind of touched on that earlier. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're not buying that from your distributors. You're not selling that. If people walk in the door with 2022 American Silver Eagles, mm -hmm. what do you have a purchase price in mind for that? Eight to ten dollars over. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. For original rolls of that. I mean, they're all going to be original rolls because nobody's going to have done anything with them as of yet. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, but. I'm not in the, I, I really don't want them. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> it doesn't make any sense for me to pay that kind of premium because then I have to stuff that premium down my customer's throat yeah. when they want to buy them and they need them for mm -hmm. birthdays or holidays or whatever it is that they're giving it for. Yeah. So. Uh, Anthony S. wants to know, uh, anyone trading silver for gold? Like, would somebody walk in here with a shoebox full of silver and say, hey, I want to trade this for gold has that ever happened yeah it happens it okay. happens um in fact i had a guy in yesterday looking to do that okay um but he he was always he said he explained to me that he was always a silver stacker so everything that he has is in silver and he wants to start to diversify a little bit okay and he doesn't have the money to start putting into gold so he figured he'd lay off some of the silver uh -huh. to be able to transfer that into gold so I, I that was a smart move on his part i thought okay and I don't even know the ratio right now. I didn't even look at spot price today, to be honest with you. But me either. Uh, and is it a pretty even trade as far as like, do you make like a two percent or five percent or ten percent? Usually or? one to two percent. One. Okay. Yeah. So one to two percent. Uh, someone work, does that, really they're not going to get stuff. scalped. Doing oh God, no. It. no okay. No. No. no, no. Uh, how about vice versa? Anybody ever ask? You know, come in with a couple bars of gold and say, "Hey, load me up with silver." Mm -mm. Never goes that way. Never goes that way. Okay. I'm sure it does, and I just don't remember it. That's how rare it would be yeah. you know, for that to happen. But that's not a common occurrence a common in any way, shape, or form. No. Uh, AG Stacker wants to know, hey, how, how often do fakes come in? <laughs> often. I, I see that stuff. Especially as the market gets higher and higher, then you see more of that stuff coming in from China. Uh -huh. um, you just have to be careful what you're doing and know what you're looking at. Okay. Uh -huh. But, yeah, I, I see it. You know, I see one one piece a day. Okay, that's something that's fake. Wow, yeah. so it's frequent. Yeah, it's frequent. Okay, wow. And do you think it's people trying to get over on you, or people who bought it and thinking it the was real? Yeah, the majority is is people who bought it thinking it was real. Yeah. Okay, you get that rare occurrence. You know, and that's maybe once a month where somebody will come in with a bunch of stuff, and <laughs> they know it's bad, and they think I'm stupid. So ah, well, okay. Well, that leads me to my question of the day. Okay. I've been thinking about this one. You mentioned you're working on a kind of a small margin, mm -hmm. one or two percent, and you basically make your money off volume, mm -hmm. uh, not scalping everybody that walks in the no. door. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're operating on that like razor thin margin like that, um, and you've been doing this for a while, do you feel comfortable telling the audience like? what mistakes you've ever made over <laughs> the years that you had to have made some kind oh, of mistakes. Yeah. Or, you know, I, don't, I don't care what business you're in yeah, or what it is you do, you're going to make mistakes. You know, you're always mistakes. just in a hurry or mm -hmm. you're, you're not paying attention. You have too many things going on at the same time. And, yeah. and that's, that's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Uh, but my biggest mistakes are I bought something over the counter and it turned out to be bad. Okay. Or I overpaid for something yeah. and I was not able to, you know, recoup my investment on that particular item like a it, rare coin or yeah, something like yeah, that it happens yeah mm -hmm. i mean i it's very i i can't think of the last time i bought anything in a fake coin so mm -hmm. i can't say that that would be an issue but it would yeah. be more so a, a fake rolex or a fake piece of jewelry or mm -hmm. you know something along those lines something that was off and, okay or i overpaid for something because i liked it enough that i thought oh you know i, I sure it doesn't work out that way all the time so mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens. Uh, it does. Do you ever buy like a boatload of gold and then all of a sudden the price tanks and oh, of course. you're stuck with all that? Oh, of course. Okay. That happens to me relentlessly. Yes. Okay. That's, that's just part of the course. That's, that's part of the roller coaster. That's part of the roller on. coaster, yep. You have to learn to suck it up and take the good with the bad. And, you know, it's all about cost averaging. So uh -huh. in the end, it all works out.
Okay. You know, I can't look at it and say, oh, God, gee, I lost $100,000 this week because the market went down, you know, $25. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what it is. You know, I'll make it up down the road or when I made it's... it up in the past. You mm-hmm. know, it, it's all cost averaging. So okay. It works. Uh, Facebook question from Rich Kowalski. He wants to know about premiums. Do you have any uh, idea or, like, uh, time frame as to when you think premiums might come down and get back to quote I have normal? noticed in the last week some of the premiums are starting to ease up a little bit. Okay. So I don't know what, so what that hope? means for the immediate future. So, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing things kind of easing up a little bit. Okay. But I don't know if that's just the summertime thing or... It's going to come back come fall and elections and you know all the other crap going on in the world who knows <laughs> yeah there's so many factors yeah, that yeah there's so many things going on so you can't you can't i can't justify it one way or the other to say yes this is definitely going to happen i don't know that yeah I'd do that i'd be a millionaire and i wouldn't be standing here talking to you at a <laughs> beach somewhere so yeah. uh another facebooker tim clemens wants to know uh best silver if you need to sell it back like something that like guaranteed you know Boom, he walks in with, say, 10-ounce bars or, mm-hmm. or whatever. Or is there, like, one certain thing that you're always ready to say, yeah, I'll take that right now, and or is it just... It's all of it. Okay. I mean, if somebody comes in with a 10-ounce bar or a 1-ounce bar or a 5-ounce bar or 90%, there's nothing that I'm going to turn away in any of that. So okay. that's not the case. So. And you're going to do right by people and no I'm matter gonna, whatever right, they I, bring, right. as long as it's something that you could sell to yeah, the next guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I stick with my premiums, so mm-hmm. you know, I'm fairly honest as far as what my spreads are. I have no problem telling people I will pay you $2.50 over spot, and I sell it at $5 over spot. Mm-hmm. That's too much of a spread for you. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. So yeah. Doing the best I can, but mm-hmm. that's what I do. Yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, a dude named Sniff wants to know. Sniff, <laughs> okay. <laughs> wants to know about uh, European gold, like roosters. Mm-hmm. Uh, are those popular? Uh, uh, the premiums on those are a little, seem to be a little bit lower. Oh yeah, they are. The um, the sovereigns, the roosters, um, Swiss, any of that stuff. The mm-hmm. the premiums are lower. I can get that stuff, but it's not in not that much in demand. Sovereigns are very much in demand. But as far as the other stuff, mm-hmm. it's very rare I get asked for it. So Okay. That was big during the whole Y two K thing. Okay. Went back in two thousand when mm-hmm. they were pushing that whole Y two K thing. Yeah. They had those, the companies out there that were selling all of that stuff and loading people up in it and Y two K didn't happen and the <laughs> internet didn't crash and our lights didn't go out and you know, we all woke up the next day and the world was still the same. So we party like it was nineteen ninety nine though. Exactly, we did. <laughs> and all those people bought that gold to party with. So but you know, it, that's that was what was popular at that point in time. Now nobody asks me about it. A guy named Tom wants to know about uh, young people. Do you see any younger people uh, walk in, in the shop lately? I do. I do. Okay. A lot of the the newer generation silver stackers mm-hmm. are um, millennials, okay. which is what I'm noticing. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're very knowledgeable. They spend a lot of time researching what it is that they're doing, mm-hmm. um, more so than uh, middle-aged people my age. They don't spend a lot of time on the internet researching what it is that they're going to be purchasing. They come in and they ask the questions. I see. Millennials, the younger pe- younger generation, they've already done all the research, so they, mm-hmm. they know what it is that they're looking for. They maybe need a nudge one way or the other mm-hmm. to help them out, but they already have their mindset on what it is that they're doing, and they're, not, and they're fairly knowledgeable. So My age demographics on my channel have lowered. Mm-hmm. There are more younger people okay. watching now as well, so I could kind of see that from my end yeah. as well. Uh, Silver Forever, who has an awesome uh, YouTube channel, uh, wants to know about uh, silver kilo bars. Mm-hmm. Is that a popular size? To Whenever trade? I have them, they sell them. Imme- I mean, that's one of those things that oh, sells really? immediately. Yeah. Okay. Fifty ounce bars and kilo bars. Yeah. Okay. People, people tend to really like those because well, it's enough. not something you see. Okay. So you see ten ounce bars, you see hundred ounce bars. It's, you don't see kilo bars and 50 ounce bars all that often. I see more people talking about them on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I guess they are becoming a lot mm-hmm. more popular. Um, Cash and Coins wants to ask another question about when you're on the selling side of things. Mm-hmm. Is it advantageous for a seller to walk in here with a large amount of stuff or a small amount of stuff and just sell it like in smaller quantities? That's up to the person, whoever needs the 
the money or the reason that they're selling it for whatever the reason is. Okay, yeah. doesn't matter if you have one piece or a hundred pieces or a thousand pieces. I can. So the percentage, the price percentage, doesn't change. No. Okay. I stick. I stick to my my formula, which works for me. Okay. So uh, hey, I mentioned earlier uh, that uh, I hit seven uh, K. I hit a milestone on YouTube. Uh, and yeah, hey, thanks. Uh, you're, you're a big part of that, Sherry. Well, I appreciate thank you. it. Well, thank you. One of these days, I will watch one of my videos. Yay! <laughs> yeah, you still haven't watched the video. I still have not watched a video. You're a no. channel member. But I, you know, I, I know. The video. I know. I know. I know. just. You know what? It actually popped up on my feed one day. I'm I'm searching through, and I never go on the internet, but I'm searching through, and it, it popped up on my feed, and I started watching like 30 seconds. I'm like, oh, nope, swipe, <laughs> get out of that. I don't want to watch it. Yeah, I don't know if I would want to watch myself no, either. I, no, I enjoy being on this side of the camera. Extremely uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> So um, I was thinking about doing something I've never seen done before on any YouTube channel, and I try to innovate. I try to do stuff that other people aren't doing. Should I be afraid? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, but uh, as you know, I came up with these T the Silver Stacker channel slabs. Yep. Uh, so what I decided to do is uh, do a giveaway for my viewers. Okay. And this is the first time you're hearing about okay. it, so yep. let me know if this is okay. I can okay. edit it out if, it, if it's not. No but what I was thinking of is... Uh, at the time of this viewing right now on Saturday morning uh, I will do a giveaway okay. for anybody who comes somebody's at the door <laughs> sorry so anybody who comes into the store between now and next Wednesday uh, and says they saw this video they saw the T the silver stacker channel slab uh, we could just put their name in a hat and draw a raffle okay. and like uh, so Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so okay. four days, okay. there might be three names in the hat. There might be 23 names in the hat. Okay. It's probably not that many people, but we'll just pull their name after that point, after Wednesday, and somebody will win uh, this as my 7K uh, giveaway if that's okay with you. It is. In fact, I will do you one better okay. because I have, how many of these do I have from you? Uh, four, uh, five, six, seven. I have seven of them that okay. I got from you yeah. to, for your customers to purchase. Okay. So on Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we will give away one a day. Holy smokes. Okay. okay. So. Wow. Wow, that's very I, generous. I see a lot a lot of YouTubers from your channel come in. And they yeah. Say, I get people every single day, just like this morning, a, you know, drop of hat. So I get people every day. So anybody who's watching this, if you come in. Well, Saturday, by the time you see it. It'll be, this will be aired at 8.30 in the morning. Okay, well, I open at 11. I'm here from 11 to 3. So okay, boom. If you decide to come in, I'll give one away that day. Okay. okay. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Those yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Monday. Tuesday, Monday. So Wednesday. we'll give away four. Well, yeah, we'll give away four Dang. total. Yep. All right. So, hey, your odds are pretty good. It is. Yeah, uh, the, the uh, prize pool just got uh, qu quadrupled. Yeah. And so your odds are good. Come in and see Sherry. Please do. Uh, put your name in the hat. We'll come up with a little raffle ticket yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And there'll be a massive giveaway of four T the Silver Stacker channel slabs. And if you want to purchase one, you'll still have a couple left over yep. uh, after all is said and done. So, Sherry, we're going to end it right there. Well, thank you, T. And uh, absolutely, thank you. And uh, look forward to uh, making some people happy with that uh, prize. Well, thank you, honey. Have a wonderful day. All right, thank you. <laughs> hey, quick shout out to my channel members. Thank you, guys. And thank all of you for watching this video. Really appreciate your viewership. It is now time to reveal what I purchased. Chicago Bulls round celebrating their first, second, and third championships in 91, 92, and 93. How cool is that? It was such a pleasure watching Michael Jordan and the Bulls back in the day. And after his hiatus, when he went to go play baseball and mourn the loss of his father, they won it again in 96, 97, and 98. <laughs> Four in six years.